All right, how's it going, Jump Crew? Thank you for tuning in, and welcome to your second episode here at Flight School. In this episode, we're gonna focus on three jump styles. Now, if you haven't seen episode one, which was squatting, I need you to reference back to that because these jump styles apply to those squatting techniques. So just for the sheer fact that most of you guys are basketball fans, I'm gonna be using basketball to illustrate these. Go Lakers. All right, now our first jump style that we're gonna go over is the pogo. Now we associate the pogo with the narrow squat stance, referencing episode one. So if you think back to episode one, the muscles targeted when we use a narrow stance are the quads and the calves. So this alone is gonna tell you that the pogo involves little knee bend. Now all my big men in basketball out there, you guys will benefit majorly from a strong and narrow stance so you guys can pogo up and down and up and down and pogo and get that rebound and be quick on your toes. And that's another thing about the pogo, there's very limited contact time with the ground. So you think of the ground just like a kid, you think of the ground as hot lava, boom, explode back up, explode back up. Engage the quads, fire the quads, fire the calves, fire the quads, fire the calves. Now our second style, we're gonna call it power jumping. Now this is not to be confused with power as in you're gonna be your strongest, but it takes a lot of power to execute this type of jump. Now a power jump occurs when the feet are extended outside of the normal range. So when you have your feet and you're in that defensive stance and it feels like it's pretty tough to keep your upper torso upright, that's your hips using and that's power. So the term power can be misleading. Um, I, I like to use the word energy instead, um, but power jumping is very common. So also power jumping is rarely used when stagnant and almost always used when energy is available. Now what does that mean? So here, what do you see? Just a player running towards a hoop? I see energy and a lot of it. Power jumping in relation to basketball is most accomplished by generating energy through movement. This energy can then be turned into power to fuel your jump. Watch as I lower my body and maintain speed or energy. It's important to note that depending upon your speed, your stance will be either closer or farther apart. In this instance, my speed is very controlled, leaving me with a wide one-two takeoff that resembles something like that of a wide squat in episode one. So the last type we're gonna go over is your jump. Yes, I know, your jump, like yours. It's what you've been doing all along. It's what you're most comfortable doing. You've been doing it your whole life. Your jump is all of those things except with the checklist. Now your jump is gonna be relative to something around your natural stance. So look down at your feet. Are you standing? If you're sitting, uncross your feet and see where they land. Now more often than not, your feet are gonna land in a natural spot and that's your natural stance where you're most comfortable. Now let's go over that checklist. Are the feet roughly shoulder width apart? Are they flat on the ground? Are your knees strong and in line with your ankle and hip? Now your jump is essentially where most of your taking off is gonna occur, so make sure you spend a lot of time working on that and going over your checklist items. Now I hope I was able to broaden some of your guys' minds with the three different jump styles and maybe even help you guys with some of your jumps. Tune in next time for episode three.